Well, turning back to some politics now, the GOP struggled to get Hispanic voters in the last presidential election. Now, as the 2016 race kicks off, can Republicans improve their chances, chances with Latinos this time around? John Roberts is live in Atlanta with more on this side of the story. John? Jenna, good afternoon to you. Republicans certainly are trying for a different outcome than in 2012 when Mitt Romney attracted just 27 percent of the Hispanic vote. Jeb Bush really is leading the way here with a robust Hispanic outreach operation. He's got a separate campaign manager and communications director dedicated specifically to Latino voters, done a few events in Hispanic neighborhoods, of course traveled to Puerto Rico last month as well. Other candidates like Ted Cruz and Rand Paul are putting together a group of surrogates to travel the nation and engage with the Latino community. Cruz's Cuban board father, Rafael, by the way, also campaigning for him. All of this goes hand in hand with a two-year-old program the National Party has had in place to try to bring more Hispanics into the fold. Hector Barreto led uh, President Bush's Hispanic outreach in 2004, which garnered 44 percent of the vote back then. We can't assume that just because somebody may believe the same things that you do that they're going to vote for you. You need to go out. You need to work that vote. You need to ask for it. You need to have good plans and solutions. And you need to respect that community. One of the big barriers, of course, between Republicans and Hispanics continues to be immigration. Even Marco Rubio has dialed back on his calls for comprehensive immigration reform, now trying to appeal to Hispanics on the issue of securing the border first. Rubio does acknowledge that some of the rhetoric coming from Republicans on immigration has alienated Latinos. Does the Republican Party have a problem with tone when it comes to Voters. Well, I don't know about the Republican Party. There might be an individual from time to time that says something that uh, doesn't necessarily go well. But what it does is allow the left to exploit it. You know, what the left does is it goes to Hispanic voters and says Republicans hate people like you. And, of course, Hillary Clinton is also aggressively courting Hispanic voters, promising the other week that she would give citizenship to people who are in this country illegally, which really isn't a matter for her to decide. That's for Congress to decide. But no question, Jenna, Hispanic voters are going to be an actively sought-after group in this 2016 election. A story to watch. John, thank you. Thank you. Right now, four.